Kevin from uh, Cyber Rule 7. I'm here with Rich Live TV. You can see his face, uh, his like his camera image on the corner of my cryptocurrencies, cannabis stocks, I guess. and CEO okay, so, hey, interviews how's it going, Rich? brought to you. It's going well. How are you doing, Rich TV Live? Uh, I would have done better if my stocks were like green. <laughs> well, it was green yesterday. I'm sure you were having a great day yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday was awesome. I, I made a, a little sound just in case a uh, massive drop happens. But uh, yeah, uh, in the morning it was funny because I woke up in the morning. I saw a raw stock at like $16. My mind was like, sell, 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 sell. But I didn't do it fast enough and it dropped. I'm like, God damn. So, hey, you know what? What I want to do, this is the first time that Kevin and myself from Cyber World 7 are collaborating. So I wanted to give everyone a little uh, background on Kevin. So Kevin, can you kind of give everyone just like an understanding of, you know, how long you've been in the industry and some of your success? Because I think your story is pretty spectacular. Before we do some predictions, how about that? Okay. So, all right, this is my story. So my story was, um, I never even knew about the wheat stocks in 2016. Uh, around December 14, 2016, my, my friend messaged me on my okay, text message me. He saw on the news that there was this company called Royal Cannabis preparing to build an 800,000 square feet facility by the Edmonton International Airport. And I was like, what? I was like, all, I was all confused. I did some research on Aurora and I noticed that it was traded on the stock market. I'm like, you can, you can buy wheat stocks. I'm like, um, I was so shocked. And then at the time, I was doing so well with AMD that I sold off a chunk of AMD and then I threw it into Aurora. And then nice. I was just doing more. And what, hold on, what price was Aurora at the time? Uh, when I found it, it was $2.34. Nice. Very yeah. good entry. Wow. So it's up like 700% from when you got it. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's up 700% since I found wow. it. It's, wow. It's amazing. It's, a, it's the same story with my AMD. I bought AMD around two dollars fifty thousand shares and it, it took off of me I, I didn't i didn't expect it to take off of me but it took off of me it made you know made me my made me put me in the path of riches thanks to wow. amd and then wow i was trying to get into business with that money like because I, I freaked out when amd went from two dollars to like 11 12 13 dollars right For because sure. in the stock market the rule is when a stock goes up massively there's a chance that's gonna go back down and make me lose everything i made of course so i was freaking out and i thought i could i should diversify my money into a business but then aurora came along and i just knew deep down in my heart that i can't go wrong throwing all my money into this company well wow. at first i didn't at first i was very cautious i did all my research i just made sure that it's a real company and not a fake company and no, I, I even went to the Edmonton International Airport. I was looking for the Aurora Sky. At, when it was new, I didn't know exactly where it was. I was just like looking around. And then, and then when I did more research and actually found the proper location, I, was, I came back and I started recording. That was around October timeframe. So yeah, that's, that's my story. And, for, and for um, so this was in October of 2017, correct? Last year. Uh, yeah, this is around yeah, October 2017. About a year ago. So we're now into October 2018. So let's fast forward to now. So now yeah. you're on YouTube. You know, you've got thousands of members. You've got community that you're growing. You're doing a really great job. And you know that tomorrow is cannabis legalization. You're in Canada. I'm in Canada. What is your projection for tomorrow and beyond tomorrow for the markets? I want to know. You know, you've been very successful. You've done a lot of very successful predictions. Um, I've been very successful. I've made a lot of successful predictions. I've also loved Aurora since day one. And I've called uh, Canopy Growth the LeBron James of the industry since day one. So I think we've both made a lot of predictions. What do you think happens after legalization day? I want to know what you think. What's your opinion? I'm kind of happy that we had a sell-off today because there might be a green day tomorrow. But, you know... But my experience in the stock market, you, you predicting the stock market can get you burnt. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to say that it can either be uh, it's going to be even more selling off tomorrow, or it's going to be a green day. I I, can, I can't say for sure, but uh, long term, 
long term, I have no worries about these companies. I have a special video coming out tonight. Why? Exactly around midnight. So after me making this video rich, about 12 hours later, I'm going to be releasing my video that I worked on for over 12 hours. 12 hours. Wow. It's going to be an animated video. It's, it's 12 hours. It's wow. my reasoning why I believe these stocks are still undervalued at these prices, at least the big three anyways. Wow, really? So you believe the big three, Canopy Growth Corp, Aurora Cannabis, and Afria are... I don't know. Afria, maybe. Afria, maybe. But I know Aurora and Canopy for sure. Uh, Tilray might get it because Tilray is backed by like super billionaires. So I mean, like if a super billionaires can't can't like make a successful business, then that would just blow my mind because you know billionaires got there for a reason, right? Oh, so for sure. I, I'm assuming they're gonna make Tilray a successful business. That's my assumption. And right now they're making this stock look like the most valuable stock in the industry, even though the business does not match the, the value of the stock. Correct. But they have a very tight float because 81% of their shares are are locked up oh, until January. So they only have 13 million shares in the float. So that's the real reason why it, it can't really be shorted. The only yeah. reason why it got shorted was because uh, the SEC had to step in and um, Andrew Left had to step in and create a lot of uh, negative press and create a lot of, I believe, a lot of, uh, they, they halted the stock five times in one day. That's what they had to do to stop the stock because they have such a tight float. So when you have that much of a tight float and you have all this buying coming in, the stock's going to only go up. Nobody was selling. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, the thing is that these billionaires set it up this, this way. They knew that they could Jeez. manipulate the stock yep. if... If they had a, a tight flow, correct. So they set it up that way so they can surpass all the other players like Canopy and Aurora. What do you uh, think about what do you think about what do you think about last year though, Kevin? This is one thing. Remember last year? You know it because you were in it, and it happened to me yeah. too. January 9th, I remember the day like it was yesterday. Everything fell off a cliff. <laughs> January 9th, everything fell off a cliff. Do you see that happening this year? Well, coming up. First of all, the, on January 9th, it already, okay, first of all, it already risen so much already, right? And yes. then that sudden burst of, of, uh, of stock price going up to $14, it may, it, it just, it wouldn't, it, there was no evaluation for that. It had to correct itself. So that's why it crashed right after, because it's basically correcting itself, making, you know, because it, it made no sense for it to rise twice. Like for my accounts to look like from literally from like, 50% to 1,400%, uh, no, what was it? No, like 800%. It made no sense for it to jump that fast in a matter of two months. So the, the stock would eventually have a correction and that's exactly what it did. The bigger players like Aurora and Canopy didn't get affected too much uh, because you know, they're bigger players, but the smaller players, oh, they got slaughtered. They got <laughs> decimated. So yeah. I was actually yeah. holding a lot. I sold all my big ones and which I now obviously look back and think, okay, maybe I should have kept Aurora and Canopy, but I sold all the big ones and I've been investing in the smaller ones. That's been my strategy since. And I've been accumulating a lot of smaller positions, um, lots of shares in smaller positions, looking for the next Aurora, looking for the next Canopy. Um, one, now, do you have any party plans for tomorrow? Big party tomorrow. Oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm driving around. I'm driving around all these dispensaries and recording how, seeing how busy they are, and I'm gonna be releasing it on YouTube. Nice. That's planned for tomorrow, so oh, I'm, nice. I'm pretty excited for that. I'm, I'm definitely excited to see all these dispensaries and see how they set them up. So I like yeah. that. That's a really good idea, guys. Go to Cyber World Seven. Go subscribe to his channel. Take a look at all of his cool videos. He's got some animated videos. He works really, really hard. He's done a very good job and he's done a great job in the markets as well. Cannabis stocks and CEO interviews brought to you by Rick.